What's Israel's lesson from Czechoslovakia? Well, first of all, I want to say that I am from Ariel University in Samaria in Israel. And I was telling the ambassador that the only ambassador that was willing to come and visit us is the Czech ambassador in Israel. And he was the only one who came to Samaria to visit Ariel University. Uh-huh. And Why? What, what, what's special about uh, Ariel University that other ambassadors wouldn't come? Because it's what's called the West Bank. It's uh-huh. in Samaria. Okay. So the other, other like the uh, British uh, ambassador said, you know, location counts. And the German ambassador says, it's uh, uh, occupied territory. Uh-huh. And when I asked them, why is it occupied? From whom did we occupy it? They didn't, they ha- didn't, didn't have an answer. Uh-huh. But uh, I was telling the ambassador that uh, the Czech Republic really is the only friend that Israel has in Europe. In and uh, the, it, it's also uh, sh- shown on the United Nations uh, voting and, and other, uh, also the, the commerce is so good and uh, actually relations between people are very good. You know, we have many people going to uh, Czech Republic and I've been there at least three or four times and it's, uh, it's fantastic. Uh-huh. What, what lesson should the rest of the EU learn from Czech Republic? Well, I think that Europe is dormant. Europe is asleep. I was telling the ambassador like it happened in the World War II uh, that uh, they let Hitler um, uh, spread all, all over Europe and they did nothing about it. Mm-hmm. He went into uh, Rhineland and he went into uh, uh, Austria and he went into the Czech Republic, the uh, Czechoslovakia at that time. Poland. And uh, nobody really uh, shed any tear about it. And only when it was too late that they woke up. Uh-huh. And that cost the world 52 million people in dead and six million Holocaust, of, uh, Holocaust uh, Jewish Holocaust. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, there's a lot to learn from this, especially now. I think that uh, at the moment we are something like 1938. It's, it's like the beginning of another world war that the Islamists, the extremists are waging over the um, Western society, that Israel is in the front of the society. Mm-hmm. And I've heard some Czech leaders who were saying that Israel really is standing in the front and we must help her, mm-hmm. not uh, discriminate Hinder. against her. Mm-hmm. Very good. Thank you very much. What do you, what do you think about his remarks? Do you agree? Yeah. <laughs> so we were, we, were, we were just talking about and we were on the same tuning as Professor. Do you feel welcome in Israel, by the way? Have you been? Uh, I've been in Israel. I been on an official visit with the minister at that time. Uh, Ariel Sharon was uh, the prime minister. Uh, Shimon Peres was uh, the member of the government. So uh, we had a very nice visit and a very good understanding mm-hmm. between uh, political leaders of mm-hmm. my country and Israel. Terrific. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you. Wonderful.